Entrepreneur Myths, The Startup Reality is a book about how to avoid the pitfalls of starting and growing your business. This book is based on more than 20 years of my experience as an entrepreneur and venture capitalist. I have invested more than $50 million into more than 25 startups in the various stages of their life cycle. And they have been across all different types of domains. I have done it in high tech sectors, I've done it in consumer sectors, I've done it in manufacturing sectors. And what I've seen is that the same patterns play out in every startup and growing company. What happens is that these entrepreneurs hold certain myths that cause them either to fail or not be able to scale, or even worse, not being able to raise the capital that they need to grow their business. What entrepreneur myths does for the entrepreneur is make him think. So for instance, you can look at a myth like you can raise money overnight. I can tell you that that is definitely a myth. But by the same token, you can look at it from a perspective of how do I accelerate the process of raising capital. And so the book is all about teaching you and sharing the experiences as well of how to accelerate the process of raising money. Because as an entrepreneur, I can assure you that one of the hardest things you can do is raise money. In fact, of the 25 plus entrepreneurs that I have invested into personally, I can tell you when I've asked them what is the hardest thing they have done as a startup entrepreneur, every single time they have said that raising capital is the number one time-consuming process for them and also it is the most difficult. One chapter is raising money is easy if you have a great idea. When it comes to raising capital, one of the things that always comes up is the valuation. What is the valuation of the startup? And in the book we go at great length explaining some of the variables that come into play when it comes to valuation. And one of the biggest things that you learn is that valuation is not solely based on numbers. Because I have been a venture capitalist, one of the myths I like to dispel is that venture capitalists are vultures. In fact, it's quite the opposite. If you get anything out of the money section of the book, and this one particular chapter is worth the price of the book, it is the myth that you need money to develop a product or service. And I go through the detailed examples of how you can start your company, launch your company with minimal money or absolutely no money. It is possible, but there are certain things you have to do to make it so. One of the myths when it comes to money raising process is that raising big money is harder than smaller money. And I go through the process of showing you how you can take this myth and convert it into raising big dollars. Because I have been an entrepreneur and venture capitalist, one of the myths that I dispel is sweat equity is extremely valuable. Now I have been on both sides of this fence. I do understand that entrepreneurs spend a tremendous amount of hours building their idea or their prototype or their dream. But by the same token, as a venture capitalist, I expect it from you. One of the first things you learn from me is that entrepreneurs are not born. That is a myth, I guarantee it. Entrepreneurship can be learned, and that was one of the reasons I wrote this book. If you're a first-time entrepreneur, you learn the myth of you must be first to market. It's all about knowing your customer and finding that right product or service to fulfill the customer needs. If there is one myth, and I'm going to be passionate about this, if there's one myth that I want you to fully understand is that ideas are not dime a dozen. You'll hear venture capitalists give you the attitude that ideas are dime a dozen, but you know what? You know it as well as I do as an entrepreneur that great ideas that can make money are not dime a dozen. Believe me, I'm speaking to you from a venture capitalist perspective. An important myth that entrepreneurs are going to come across is the myth of failure is not an option. Failure is an option if that's all you got that's left. And what I do is I teach you how to look at failure as an option and what to do about it to move on to the next great big idea. If you are a startup entrepreneur, whether you're an experienced or not, you need this book. This book is an educational and learning tool that will enable you to start your business, launch your business, or grow your business quicker, faster, more efficient.